dear 18 scheme students welcome back into my channel after a long long time actually i was not making passing pickies for the 18 scheme now actually it is a pass out scheme so but uh, most of the students are still struggling to pass the subjects okay so today i am with the passing strategy for the design of machine element second if somebody is having the backlog in this subject let me tell you how to pass this uh, particular subject okay so let us start here from the model first itself there have an expression for the stress induced in a helical spring this is a fixed question so you should definitely go through it with the usual notations uh, tau max is equal to 8 fd divided by 8 uh, sorry pi d cube or c is equal to kw 8 fd divided by pi d cube so this is the uh, super important question 10 marks question it will be fixed in the examination next part is uh, discuss the significance of nipping of leaf springs with the approximate sketch describe the phenomena of creep and uh, slip in the belt drive and some numericals are there which may be 10 10 marks okay so numerical as far as numerical part is concerned so this is much more important in dme subject and you have to use your data handbook that is it and try to uh, write down the formulas and uh, the values which are given in the problem so here are some sifting problems which you can go through uh, i will provide the link in the description box for these uh, important notes so this is the sifting questions are here you can see the interface of the questions i think there is no need of explanation for this you can easily understand by referring your data handbook okay this is multi leaf spring also here whatever the uh, types of springs are there so you can go through so this is sifting part Make sure you will go through problematic part it is most important in the dme subject as it is the problematic subject especially next is model two describe gear tooth failure modes and uh, classification of gear drives and 2020 marks super gears and helical problems are there which you should definitely go through super gears and helical gears see here these are also simpler problems this is the super gear problems are here write down the given values then accordingly from data handbook you can choose the material and take down the value and you have to accordingly go through equations and try to put down the values you can easily understand the problems on super gears and also helical gears so these are the problems are here i think this much is enough if you just go through my notes you can easily pass the dme subject this time okay next is uh, this one helical gear is also here present you can see here okay so make sure you will go through these also okay next is uh, model third in which you have to go through only problematic part no more theory so it is your choice you choose bevel gear or worm gear okay when i was in uh, sixth sem i choose bevel gears over the end which were easy for me but uh, most of the students referred also worm gears okay so it is according to your own convenience so go through accordingly okay so module 3 you can easily get 20 marks by understanding the procedure of the bevel gears and worm gears next is module 4 derive power transmission capacity or power transmitting capacity of a single plate clutch for uniform pressure condition uniform gear condition this is also 10 marks fixed question will be there okay so for the answer for this is also here see here design of clutches this is torque transmitted by plate clutch with uniform pressure theory and uniform wear theory so you will get the answers accordingly and uh, you have to go through 10 10 marks problem that is design of clutches you will find these problems also here okay single plate clutch multi plate clutch so link will be available in the description box i'm telling you again and again next is model fifth super important question that is derived petrov's equation for uh, frictional power loss explain the different types of bearings what are the requirements of lubricant used in the bearings these are the two theoretical questions and bearing problems are very easier one so surely go through this bearing problem also and also i have made uh, one problem solving video i think i have covered this uh, lubrication and bearing part over there okay so problems are available and petrov situation is also available so go through accordingly okay whatever i have mentioned in this video try to cover the problems first from module 2 and module 3 that is gears okay super gear helical gear or you should go through bevel gear or worm gear okay so so that you can at least get out of 40 you should get 30 marks from these two models okay that decides that you can pass the subject with the flying colors so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will pass this subject this time in order to get the degree with the 18 scheme batch students okay thank you